everybody it is Christina Marie here and I am here about the new fall shows that are coming out new and returning and I'm just wanting to share with you some of the shows that I'm excited about and some of the shows that I'm not so excited about um, I have my new iPad here so I'm gonna be going over some things I'm gonna be looking at that as well as my laptop uh, to kind of help me um, convey my thoughts about a few things so here we go let's do the shows that I'm excited about first I'm gonna give you guys I'm gonna lay out my weekly schedule for you guys like to sh my weekly TV schedule it is literally that intense that um, I need to look at my computer to lay out what shows I'm gonna be watching Monday through Sunday it's it's that crazy so just bear with me for a second I should have been more prepared but of course that's not my thing so um, let me go ahead and get started okay so for Mondays I typically watch Hawaii Five-0 that is a show that I've been watching for a little bit I kind of gave up on it a little bit last season because um, I just had so many shows that I was watching that I just decided to just stop for a little bit so but I'm picking that show back up. I need to catch up on season two. But um, Hawaii Five-0 Five on Mondays. And then, of course, I watch my daily show with Jon Stewart as well as my Stephen Colbert and my Conan O'Brien. So that's my Monday night lineup. On Tuesdays, I'm looking to start watching that show, The New Normal. I want to check into it and kind of see what it's about. I think it's really cute um, to watch just happy gay couples I realize that can be synonymous happy gay but you know what I mean um and then I want to watch the sons of anarchy I know I need to back up a little bit and start from season one so I'll probably do that um, but I do want to check that show out and then my staples NCIS and NCIS LA I definitely have been watching those for years well as far back as I can go with NCIS LA which I think is what three years now and then uh, New Girl will be on Tuesdays on Fox. So I love me some Zoe Deschanel. She's so cute. Uh, so that as wraps up my Tuesday. Morning. Okay, so Wednesdays. Wednesday is like jam packed full of stuff. I don't know what's going on with Wednesdays, but apparently everybody likes to put stuff on Wednesdays. So X Factor. Oh, I have love. Oh, it's my mom giving me some bad news about UCLA, UCLA is gonna lose. Oh well, three and one isn't bad. But back on topic. Let me text her back real quick to let her know I am well aware. I know, I know, mom. Um, but anyway, Wednesdays X Factor, of course, and then I want to check out Animal Practice. That mainly for the monkey. My mom actually saw one of the preview episodes and she said it was really, really, but I wanna go ahead and just check it out to see. And then uh, Criminal Minds, which is a very, um, it's a graphic, creepy show, but I love it. Oh my gosh, mama, stop it. Okay, so Criminal Minds. Yes, I definitely want to uh, watch that. We'll continue watching it. And then, especially since Prentice is now gone and they're bringing on this new character, so I kind of want to see what that's about. She's a forensic psychologist or something. No, I don't know what she is. But anyway, um, then Supernatural with Sam and Dean, hot brothers, uh, who write supernatural stuff, vampires, werewolves, zombies, you name it. Love it, still love it, they're hot, what's not to love? Um, then Arrow. I want to check out that new show Arrow. I don't know what it's about. I saw the little screen, the poster, and I was like, oh, modern day Robin Hood. That's what I was thinking, but who knows what that could be about. But I know it's on CW. I haven't, um, I don't know, something about the poster and the guy looks kind of mysterious and creepy and hot. So I was like, sure, I'll just check it out. And if I don't want to watch it, then I just won't. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to check out Arrow. Then Chicago Fire. I'm gonna check that out as well. And you guys cannot tell me that the people on that show aren't attractive as hello. 
what what is it about firefighters being hot like what is and not in the literal sense well figuratively and literally because they fight fire so they're hot and whatever um what is it about them being so attractive like why uh, i don't i don't understand and so yeah that's my wednesday night lineup and then thursdays we have up all night and then Grey's Anatomy, of course. I have to see what happened after that plane crash and I need to see about what, what's going on with Christina and Owen because they are my favorite couple ever on that show. And then Person of Interest. Oh, I love Person of Interest. I love Person of Interest. And that's really all I need to say about that. That is one of the best shows I've ever seen in my life. And then that show Elementary about Sherlock Holmes and is it Lucy Liu that plays Watson or something on that show? So a female Watson, that's pretty cool. So I wanna check that out too. And then Fridays, CSI New York. I really, that's actually my least favorite of the CSI series. They canceled my favorite one, which is the Miami um, series. I don't like the regular one anymore. And New York, I just really watch it for Gary Sinise. I just like him, so. I'll keep watching that. And then Grimm. I need to catch back up on Grimm. I stopped after the first episode because I was like, I I don't get it. I This is stupid. But I'm going to try again because my mom said it got better and better after each episode. So I'm going to go ahead and give it another go. Yeah. And then Nikita. You guys, please tell me that you've seen Nikita. Like, I don't know where I've been with the show. I think they're in this is the third season or fourth season or second, whatever. But first of all, Shane West. Hello, dude. Ah, uh, took me back to those A Walk to Remember days. Like, took me way, 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 way back. Way, way, as far as way, way could be. But um, that show is just. Oh my gosh, I think him and Nikita are so cute together. They're so cute, but I love that show. I watched the whole second season maybe, was it? Um, back to back to back to back to back episodes. I just kept watching because I was so addicted to the show. I think it's really, really cool. If you don't know what it's about, it's about um, a trained assassin, Nikita, who has been trained to kill people something like that and um, realizes that the organization that trained her they aren't the best people so she kind of she left the organization and um, she wanted to destroy that organization before they destroyed her um, so at the end of this last season I believe she killed the head of the organization or or it was a kind of an accident and so she's been asked to step up and head it with some other guy whose name I can't remember, but he was cute too. You see a theme with all my shows? I like watching cute people. Who doesn't? So sue me. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty, pretty legit show. And so I don't watch anything on Saturdays, except Saturday Night Live. And then on Sundays, I watch Family Guy and sometimes The Mentalist. I kind of gave up on The Mentalist. I was sick of watching um, Jane or Patrick Jane. Um, hunt after Red John. There's only so much Red John I can handle with each season. And each episode is named or after something red. Like crimson, red, blood, ketchup, cherries, strawberries. Something with red related to it. So, um, I don't know. Something about that show just kind of I can kind of take it or leave it at this point but I don't want to give up on it because I love Patrick Jane. I can't remember the, the guy's real name. Benjamin McKen... No, that's not Benjamin McKenzie. <laughs> Benjamin McKenzie was on the OC. Oh my goodness. I don't remember his name, but he was on Something New. That's where I fell in love with him, watching him with Sinai Lathan in the movie Something New. Love it! But, um, yeah. Okay, shows I'm not so excited about. I don't like Blue Buds, so I'm not really gonna be looking too much into that one. I don't know what the fascination is with Blue Bloods. Okay, but shows I'm not really fascinated about or looking into that show Heart of Dixie. 
Nashville on ABC. Any shows on ABC I just don't love. Like I just, I don't know what it is about ABC. Desperate Housewives I didn't like. Once Upon a Time I don't like. Um, there's a lot of shows on ABC that I just, that I just don't like. That new show Suburgatory, I don't know, what the hell. Heck, Happy Endings. Uh, and then there's one, Don't Trust the B in Apartment 23. What the? These are the things that I'm just not looking forward to, so I'm not gonna watch them. If you guys watch any of these shows that I'm not really looking forward to, leave a comment down below and tell me why I should watch them or what you think of them or if you agree with me or disagree with me. Same with the shows I've listed that I really like. Leave a comment down below letting me know if you're gonna be watching them, if you enjoy these shows. I would really like to know. Another show that I am gonna give a try is uh, the show from, with Kiva Sutherland called Touch. I want to love that show, but so far I don't. It's just eh for me. So I am going to keep my fingers crossed and hope that the show is fantastic because I want to love it. I miss Kiefer Sutherland. He's still, he's still Jack from 24. Hmm. Who was in love with Renee and they killed her after they had sex in the, in the bed and she was dead and Hmm. Sorry, I still get bummed out when I think about that. And President Hassan, oh my gosh, President Hassan. And Jack was trying to rescue him and, and he was dead by the time he got there. And if I am spoiling this for you, I am so sorry. Well, I'm not sorry because the show's been gone for like two, three years. You should have watched them already. Now I'm bummed. Yeah, that's it. Now I'm bummed myself out. I'm gonna go watch some Netflix or something. I'll talk to you guys soon. Laters.